my new Yamaha 2020 MT-09. If you didn't see the first ride review video, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. But a lot of you guys have been asking me, what deal did I get? How much did I pay for this bike? Because you know, Cycle Cruiser always gets the deals. You know I'm going to get a sick deal, guys, and I did. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to tell you how much I paid. I'm going to tell you how I got the deal. If, you've seen, if you haven't seen my How to Buy a Motorcycle video, I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of the video as well. And that'll give you the full tips, take you through the process, and guarantee to get the sickest deal on a motorcycle. I tell you, this is a pretty legit bike, guys. Like I said, go check out the review. So, stay tuned, and I'm going to tell you how much this bike cost me. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. For those of you guys who want to get my gear like these awesome shorty gloves, this airbag vest to help keep me safe, ultra lightweight helmet with auto tint shield, motor vlog camera, jacket, my CE armor jacket that flows a ton of air for the summer. I love it. Very cheap, by the way. Link to all my gear in the description and comment section of my video. I'll tell you guys. Ah, we need to get a pipe on this bike. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I really appreciate about this bike on this ultra hot day. It's like 90 degrees at 100% humidity here in Ohio. Is this bike does not heat up like super bikes do in super sports. So... That's pretty awesome. Like I said, I got this. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Oh, it's got grunt, baby. It's got that torque, got that power. I like it. It's not wild and crazy like my YZ. <laughs> you know, it's 100% raw. This bike is more smoother and controlled, but it's there, baby. That torque is there. I like it. I got this bike just really as kind of like a power cruiser, man. It's a great upright seating position. I like that, man. It's super comfortable. Uh, pegs are pretty comfortable. I mean, my Supermoto is probably a little bit more comfortable because, you know, it's completely upright seating position and, uh, you know, mid pegs. So this one, the pegs are a little back for, you know, obviously you want this as a, you know, it's a sport bike. So you can have fun in the twisties and not be scraping pegs. Although some people say they've scraped pegs. Yeah. I'm not feeling the throttle on this bike though, man. I, I don't like the uh, ride-by-wire throttle on this bike. It's like an on-off. I don't like it, man. It's all right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to get rid of this bike because of that. But, Woo! but I need a steering damper, guys. I need a steering stabilizer. <laughs> Cause this this front wheel wants to move around man i can see a possible tank slapper check it out we got some scooter action here man all right you need to put a jacket on bro if you go down you're gonna have some serious scrapes Woo! i'm not gonna be busting the wheelies on this for a while man i'm kind of feeling the bike out because it's really weird really weird but anyways you want to know how much i paid for this bike guys hey we got some honeys over here what we got all right summer honeys yeah the summer bunnies what is that that song summer bunnies <laughs> yeah we out here in the hood in cleveland i hope nobody throws a firecracker at me man because it's the 4th of July. <laughs> it's probably a bad time to ride, man. Especially out here in the hood. These fools will shoot, uh, shoot a bottle rocket at you, man. Think it's funny. It's not funny. We used to do that when I was a kid. That's why I mentioned that. <laughs> I guess what... I, I never did that. Don't get me wrong, guys. I never shot a bottle rocket or firecracker at any... But they did in the hood. But we used to throw them out in, you know, in the street and stuff like that. And, you know, if a car went by, stupid stuff. Damn, woo, summer bunnies out here. My goodness. 
Yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, guys. All right, let's get to the point here. How much I paid? I paid nine thousand dollars out the door. MSRP is eight thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. A destination fee, I think, is like four hundred or five hundred or something. And then they charge a setup fee and everything else. So I got a pretty good deal at $9,000 out the door. I saw online where somebody got 8,800, beat me by 200. But I tell you, it's tough, to, it's tough to get a better deal than I got right now because everybody and their brother are, are buying motorcycles right now. You see that dealer I went to when I got this bike, all the gaps on the floor, that place used to be jammed full of bikes, man. The guy said they, he sold more bikes during this period that we're in right now than he has in 24 years that you know check it out got some scooter action squid action man these dudes need to be wearing some gear out here man this i tell you if you ever go down out here guys see you know the squids they've never been down out here that's why but if they ever go down trust me they'll they'll probably give up riding though because they'll they'll be scared they'll say it's dangerous but uh I tell you, go look online at people that have went down without gear, and and you'll you'll think twice about riding without a you know a jacket and, and a helmet, man, because it could set you up for a real effed up day. But anyways, as far as my deal, nine thousand out the door. How did I get that deal? I do the same technique every time I buy a motorcycle. What I do is I go on CycleTrader.com. Check it out. This dude wants to race. What's gonna happen? <laughs> He trying to blow by me, Scooter Man. Isn't that something? I'm not gonna speed past him though, cause today's Fourth of July and there's cops everywhere, so I'm just chilling. Uh, so we'll let we'll let homeboy get away for get away with that. Otherwise, if I ride my YZ, I'd be busting a wheelie right past them, and that would be stupid. That'd be very childish to do. I know, man. But I, I'm childish. I'm like I said, I'm a man child out here, guys. Yeah, you know, I haven't grown up. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't grown up, dude. All right. I don't like that delay in the throttle, man. I tell you, we got to get this bike tuned properly, man, because it's the, it's annoying me. Ooh, that fool! I tell you guys, this thing has got some bump. It's got some bump. <laughs> Yeah, I like it, baby. Uh-huh. Pretty good. It's just weird. Like I said, I wish I had a cable throttle, man. This bike would be super legit with a cable throttle. Check this out. They're having a block party up in here, man. Check it out. I hope these, hope these dudes don't throw a firecracker on me, man. Check it out. I'm going in and get me some ribs. <laughs> I know they got some ribs up in there. Give me some red. This is my old neighborhood, by the way. I used to live over here, and uh, I used to I used to hang out on this road all the time. My buddies used to live on this road. My family friend still lives there. Check it out. Yeah, still feels like I mean, feels like my old hood, man. Even though I haven't been here in many years. I, Actually, I didn't like living over here, but I, I've come to appreciate it more. <laughs> I, I like the suburbs better. Over, but this will always be my old neighborhood, man. It's where I came from. I was born and raised till about 11 years old over here. But anyways, getting back to the deal. Uh, CycleTrader.com. What I do is put the, the year and model of the bike that I want. And then I sort it from uh, lowest price at the top and uh and then what i do is i take that i call and get the out the door price and then i will call my local dealer because usually it's in another state i'll call my local dealer and try to get that same price maybe i'll knock off two or three hundred dollars off of it off of that lowest price and work from there and uh and usually that works that usually gets me the best deal um but i also look on like ebay I look at uh, a nationwide search through Craigslist. Make sure he hears me, guys. And, uh, hey, let's get on here. Let's get on the highway, man. Let's bust. Woo! Oh, baby. 
it doesn't hit hard like the Toronto and Exia Veil that I had, man. Oh, baby! Oh, man! Oh, ah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, guys! But it's pretty legit. It's no super bike, though, man. It's perfect for what I want it for. It's cruise out here, baby. Yeah. So that's what I do, guys. I've, all the bikes that I've, nearly all of them, I've got sick deals on. You get the best deals in the winter time. You know, summertime right now is a bad time to get a deal, but you can get deals. Like I said, my, this is a pretty legit deal. 9,000 out the door. And he didn't want to do it. You know, I actually, he called me two days later and he said, hey, I talked to the manager, we're able to do it. Okay, the bike's ready, come and, come and pick it up. I pay cash, by the way. I always pay cash for my bikes and I'm getting ready to buy a house that I'm paying cash for. I live 100% debt free and have since 2006 because I do not like having debt over my head and being a slave to debt. And that way, if anything goes bad with as far as income, you know, it's much better paying just property taxes than having to pay a mortgage, you know, and mortgage insurance and all the other fees. Uh, it's so much easier paying just property taxes for a house, I'll tell you. And as far as a motorcycle, it's cool to know you own it and the bank doesn't own it, you know. So if you, like I said, you lose your job or your income from your business or whatever, you don't have to worry about your motorcycle being repossessed. Uh, because you're going broke because you don't have any income especially right now a lot of people are going through hard times right now so save up guys don't be tempted to get that low interest rate for your for a motorcycle you know save up work hard save up if you don't have a job go out there and, and paint houses uh, cut lawns they're making a killing right now doing that type of work man you can make that money and uh, probably if you work hard you could probably I say it probably in maybe three months you could probably have money to buy this bike or even less so yeah I have a guy that's painting my house right now and I he, he did it in what three days he's painted all my trim he uh, power washed my driveway power washed the house and I'm paying him 1400 bucks three days of work guys 1400 bucks so guys I hope you get a sick deal out there I'm telling you it Riding out here is really nice. It beats sitting up in the in the house, you know, watching and all the BS with that. <laughs> get out here and get you a motorcycle and ride, baby. Have a good time like Cycle Cruise is having out here on his MT-09, baby. Yeah, nice and comfortable, upright, seated position. All kinds of torque. Yeah, reliable. But anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All The World Motorcycle channel. And also check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.